Hey guys, we will see how to reverse a linked list, which is a single linked list. First, uh, let's put a three node single list, three node linked list here. Eight, 10, 12. So now eight is head here. Now eight dot next is pointing to 10. 10 dot next is pointing to 12. 12 is the last node so it's next is not pointing to anything so that's why it's null here so now if we have to reverse it it's going to be 12 10 8 so 12 is going to be the head node that means we need to make this as head and 12 dot next should point to 10 10 dot next should point to 8 and 8 dot next should be null at any given point of time in linked list we know the node and its next value so while iterating through the linked list we need to flip the uh, each node's next value to the previous one so that's how we can achieve reversing a linked list so in order to achieve that we need to take uh, help of a few temporary variables now uh, those can be previous current next so initially previous value will be null the current value will be the head node whichever we pass as an input and next value will be null so we need to iterate we will take a while loop where the exit condition is this loop will be executed as long as current is not null so as a first step we will store current dot next into next this will be useful the later processing because every iteration we need to perform the flip on next nodes so here the next will be a temp to guide us and help us the pointers the next iteration <clears throat> so now what we do 8 is pointing to 10 right it's a forward pointing we need to make backward pointing that means current dot next equal to previous node now previous node should point to forward that means current one previous equal to current node so now we did the flip we need to make sure for next iteration we need to go to the next one that means current equal to next so if this process continues once all the nodes are traversed the flip is done and the linked list is reverse let's write a program for this now create a class called reverse link list create another class called node which is uh, static define an integer to store the data and a node a reference to point to next node let's have a constructor assign the temp to data write a method to reverse the linked list which is static return the node head node after reversal that's that's the last node
So the input is going to be head node always. We will define three temporary variables. Those are previous assigned with null, current assigned with method input. Next will be null. We'll use while loop to iterate over the linked list. <coughs> the exit condition is as long as current is not null, we'll run this loop. As a first step, we'll store current dot next into next node. Since we are going to flip the pointers backwards uh, in the iteration, in every iteration, we are losing track of next element. So the next element reference is stored in next variable temporarily for now. And we'll use this at the end of the loop. So now current is pointing to the next node that is forward pointing. We need to make sure that the current element pointing to the previous node that is backward pointing. So let's say current dot next equal to previous. So now it's pointing to the backward thing. So now the previous node should be pointing to the next node that is current node. That means previous equal to current node. Now we have done the flip. We are getting ready for the next iteration. And we are already storing the next element into next, assign that to current value. As the iterations are over, we will be traversed till last node and all the next node references will be flipped back to previous nodes. Return the new head which is previous that's the last node. As part of this we need to traverse to the node and print it. Sorry we need to traverse to the linked list and print it. This is required for uh, testing our code right. So let me write a simple code. Static void print linked list provide a head node as an input while head not equal to null system dot out dot print head dot data and point head to next node. Now let's write a simple main method to test this code. create multiple nodes, I mean create a linked list, node n1 equal to new node, 10, let me copy and create multiple nodes, n2, n3, n4, here node 1 is going to be our head node, so now n1 dot next is going to point to n2, n2 dot next is going is pointing to n3 no as well and so on n3 dot next is pointing to n4 let's print this before we reverse it n1 now reverse and get the new head 
I'll print the new head as well. Let's run. Let's, let's print uh, system.out.println extra line so that we can see the differences. Ah, my bad. Um, I gave all inputs as 10. Let's change that. Um, 10, 18, 10, 89, 23. Let's run that once again. So now if you notice, it's the, the initial thing, 18, 10, 89, 23. The reversed one, 23, 89, 10, 18. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.